The views of the guest are that of the guests and do not represent nor reflect the views and opinions of the Lockout Men channel, the recruiter call channel, nor its host. This site content is for entertainment, educational, and informational purposes only. I don't know of any driver who likes to have driver-facing cameras. Yes, I cannot wait to get in my truck and be monitored. No driver thanks that, dude. No driver does. And if he says like, oh yeah, I, I like having a driver facing camera, he's lying, dude. Before we get started, does anyone want to get out? Wild Beard Trucking to the show. My guy, thank you for your time, man. I really do appreciate you stepping up in here and having this little conversation. So uh, before we start, uh, everybody definitely go over there, check out my guy, Wild Beard Trucking. He has a, a trucking channel on YouTube that you guys could check out. He's a Hirschbach driver. He's been there for quite a while. So he had some trips or some tricks, tips, and all that other good stuff uh, pertaining to Hirschbach and and his uh, journey into trucking. So, Wild Beard, man, you you made a video a while ago, popped up on my feed, popped up in my subscription, and I was like, oh, what's this about? And yeah. you said that Hirschbach is uh, coming around to the AI technology. In, in other words, you guys are getting the new AI technology cameras in your truck. Even though you already have a camera in your truck already, I believe it's the LiTech system, but the new AI camera is coming from Niodyne, if I'm pronouncing that right. Looks like it's going to be the standard for AI cameras that's that's coming out and that these trucking companies is now implementing. Prime I just implemented theirs. Uh, the company that I drive for has the same uh, AI technology cameras here. And I can tell you, bro, we're not fans. It's just like you said in the video. We, we don't just think about getting up in the morning and just say, hey, let's let's drive for a company that watches us all day because basically that's what this camera does. From a company standpoint, they pretty much says it's about safety and and keep us out of trouble in case of anything, but but it, this camera snitches, bro. I mean, this camera, this this camera snitches. I'm talking about when you're drowsy, how many times you yarn, heart breaking, spacing, all that, man. So here's a story before I get before I get your opinions and thoughts on it. I, it was a situation that I had down near in PA. That's where majority of our our lanes is at. We're pretty much PA. The truck GP, which is which is a good GPS, yeah, so I ain't gonna cap. Their their GPS is pretty good, but unfortunately, it took me to the entrance to where the cars go in at on this one particular turnpike side. So I get over there and I'm over here like, okay, it says no trucks, and I see literally it's no trucks on there because the turn to go around that curve is. So super duper tight so i know i wasn't gonna i wasn't gonna do that so what i did was i looked around i see that the space in front of me is is all spacing and it looks like a place for us to turn around anyway because we have no choice but to but i turn around make the turn come back out get back in on the truck side of the turnpike I say maybe about two minutes three minutes later i get a message on the tablet from the iDrive or from the iDriver, that's that's the name of the camera. Shared video, like, oh, oh okay. So I, I click on it, severe U-turn. Like, bro, it, it like right off the rip, right then and there, right as it happens. It's not like how the old cameras of old usually don't trigger and it, and it downloads after a certain time. No, these cameras, you do something, that would trigger it, that information gets uploaded right then and there. Right, like, like right then and there. So, of course, I took the initiative and I, I called my safety department because, again, the company I drive for, they're stricklers for safety. Hard braking, a U-turn, those are considered, like, big no-nos over here. It's, it's not a one-and-done situation like other companies could be, but, yeah, they, they frown upon that 
So, of course, I took the initiative. I called up my safety department. I said, hey, man, look, I know you just got the video because I just got the video. I, I just want to say that as you look in the video, I, I had no other choice but to do what I did. And 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 again, like I said, I, I just took the initiative. I was like, look. Let me know to come on in to clean out the truck. Oh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, that's what I'm like. But my 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 uh, security uh, security my my safety department again. I don't know them know them, but from the conversations that I had with him, it was pretty good. He understood. He asked me a couple of questions on how I ended up over there, and I told him that the GP and I said the company G routed me over here. So. I would assume if the company Jeep has routed me somewhere else other than over there and I used my Jeep, it probably would have been a small issue. But, yeah, the company GPS routed me over here. But, but yeah, man, this this camera is not – it's it's more so the, as Bit Brother is watching over you 24-7, you know what I'm saying? Because, unfortunately, I had to keep my truck running for the heat and for the AC. We don't have APU in here. So the truck – the camera is on, like, 24-7. When you know, the front-facing part goes off when the truck is turned off, but when the truck is on, all all four cameras is on. Is is two on the side, left and right, one in the front, and one facing the driver. And if you take your eyes off the road, that's another thing too. You take your eyes off the road for more than for more than four seconds, it it pings you, and you can you can see everything that is that is done to you in the driver eye app. Everything. So. Like I said, I, I call it the snitch camera. That's that's what I call it. Oh, some people will say that it made them a better driver. Other people will say it's it's just added stress on there, which which is true. You you definitely can't be riding with your phone in your hand or or doing anything questionable that the camera will pick up. So that's what they expect, bro. You mentioned that you guys is getting it soon. You 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 pretty much got to be on your P's and Q's when it when it comes to this new AI technology and cameras now. What's going on with Hirschbach and what have you heard about them implementing the system and why and if you, why they decided to go with AI technology? Um yeah, man, I think, uh, like you said, man, I don't have it. I don't know when this video comes out, but it's August 28th uh, today when we're recording this. So I just want to make sure that everybody knows that I don't have it. This is We get it in September. They should be rolling it out. But, yeah, I mean, the company's going to say, like, all, like the, the same thing they always say about all the cameras. It's like, this is for our drivers. This is to help them. It, you know, it's like our cameras are supposed to talk to us. So if we're doing something wrong, it gives you a warning before, like, so you can correct the behavior. Like if you're running up on somebody, if you're looking down too long or whatever, I don't, I don't know exactly, but it's supposed to give you a warning and coach you. And then if you don't correct the behavior, that's when the camera incidents happen. So they're, they're, they're selling it as like, Oh, well, this is supposed to help coach you. It's going to help you, you know, like that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, I mean, that's what the company says, you know? So, I mean, like, I don't, I, I don't take it, you know, <laughs> I mean, take it with a grain of salt, I guess, but I don't swallow it whole, you know, but for me, dude, I, I, I really, like I said on the video that I did about this, um, I don't, uh, I never liked the cameras. I never have I, any driver says like, Oh yeah, I love having these cameras in there. I don't know why they would even say that outside of the fact they're just trying to get some brownie points from the company. Uh, but on the other, on the other side of things, um, I'm willing to try it out. I'm willing to put up with it. Um, you know, probably for the same reason you are, uh, but your company probably compensates you to uh, to drive that truck, and you like the job. You tolerate the camera because you you're okay with the job, and uh, you're willing to do it because you're compensated and you you enjoy the. It's the same for me. Uh, as long as I'm com I like this job, I'm home on the weekends. They work really hard to get me home when I need to be home. Uh, you know, I have certain schedules with my with my son, and I work really well with my driver leader and on on the Tyson account at Hirschbach. And so like, there's just some things I value. And um, so I'm willing to tolerate the cameras. As for the AI portion of it, um, 
you know, I'm not, I'm not crazy happy about it. I don't think any driver really is. I've heard mixed reviews um, from different people. Like some people are like, yeah, it's whatever. I just kind of drive, you know, and just do the same things I've always done. And then some people are like, I hate that. It's annoying. I hate the little voice coming on there. Um, you know, this, this, and this, and they list off other reasons. And, you know, I'll make my final decision when, when the camera rolls out and I'm dealing with it, you know, we'll just see, but, you know, I'm, I, I've been at Hirschbox for, for several years and different, you know, I was owner operator, came back to Hirschbox. All that's just because I've, I've had good, good experiences at Hirschbox. So I've just, I've like, I've always maintained the, the viewpoint, like, as long as I feel good here and respected here, I'm just going to stay here and do what I need to do um, to make a living. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's it's pros and cons, and, and I'm not crazy about it. I don't like it, but it also seems to be like that's the reality of where we're, where we're headed with this, you know, with many carriers. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. It, it, it is. Where we're at and... Where are we going? The previous company that I drove for for the last few years, the, the owner of the company, he's not a big proponent of cameras in his trucks, but the Samsara tablet system that is in his truck was pretty much dislike the camera. And it don't, he don't have the cameras, but the Samsara system, U-turns, hard braking, hard acceleration, all that comes through through the Samsara tablet via the Samsara system that they got back at the at the shop. So he, I, I don't know if he's going to implement cameras. Of course, if you do, the insurance will be a little bit lower. It will probably be some conversation from the insurance to be like, hey, you get the cameras, we'll, we'll significantly lower your insurance to this, this, and that. But... It is it is what it is. And what you said about the camera talk to you, yes, it does. It does. It, it everything you speak on, you, you distracted driving, uh, please please give space, hard braking, hard braking detected, hard acceleration detected, and you're right. Usually it would it would give you an audible, but on certain situations when it gives that audible, yes, it's supposed to give you a little bit of time, but you don't know that time because it's been plenty of times that I was hit with the spacing and it, and, and it pops up on my driver eye tablet as such. So it's, you, you can't tell like if it's, a, if it's a couple of seconds so you can correct it or if it's a couple of minutes you correct it, you you just don't know with this new technology. Like when I drove for JNR Google, we had the light tech system. And you can tell by looking at the lights when it's triggered. Oh, it's oh, you yeah, yeah, you hit a pothole, the light will come on. Oh, it, it you you can see the green light. You run a stop sign, oh, yeah, uh, rolling stop detected as well. Uh, you run a stop sign or a stop light, you can tell it it triggers, you can see that little light come on. With the Nidine system, there's two lights up there, but you can't tell if if it's recording or not or recording what it needs to record when the incident happens. It's recording and let me get let me make this absolutely clear so that it won't be no miscommunications. The camera is recording 24/7. So if a recruiter of any company say, oh, well, it, it, it don't record until it, it, it triggers. Yes, that is true. But it needs to record in order to get that trigger. So. Right. 20 seconds. What's it? 20 seconds before and 20 seconds after. Right. Something. It takes. It has to take from somewhere, guys. So it has to take from somewhere. When a company calls you back and be like, oh, yeah, we can we can pull the we can pull the footage. Okay, well, how can you pull the footage if you say it only records at the at, at the trigger time? It's recording all the time. Hold on. What's going on, guys? I just want to stop the video right here right quick. If you guys made it this far into the video and you guys like what you're hearing, go ahead and hit that like button for me, bro. Hit that like button. It's free. It's free. If you made it this far into the video, man, make sure you hit that like button. It's right up under the video, man. And if you guys like more content like this, click
consider, okay? Y'all got two options. Well, one, but two options. You can either subscribe for the channel for more, and if you really want to rock with me and get the videos early, make sure you join. Join the channel, all right? Shout outs to all my members of the channel that rocks with your man. Thank you very much. Now let's get back to the show. Mine's recording all the time. You want to know how I know? Because we get re reviews of the recordings that we look at every week. So you can't tell me that. Yeah. You, you can't tell me, oh, it, it only records when it triggers. No, it, it records when it triggers, but it's recording. So you, you guys just have to be careful and just know, like me and Wildbeard said, if this is a company that you're cool with and you can handle driving while being watched all the time, then well, more power to you. Oh, but this is this is the route we're going. Oh, Prime, Hirschbach now. Ari, Ari Garrison has them. Yeah. Yeah, Ari Garrison has them. J.B. Hunt has them. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Amazon, a lot of companies have them. Amazon fact, has them. Amazon, Am yeah. Amazon has them in their, yeah. in their trucks, like the delivery trucks. Not just the not just the eighteen wheelers. They got them in that the, the little delivery trucks that be coming to y'all houses. It's in there too. Yeah, it's in there too. Yeah, that's good, man. Those those are like the worst drivers anyway, man. Those little delivery truck drivers. Bro. They give them those Mercedes vans, and I'm just like, bro, they tear them all up, dude. Yeah. I just see them things all banged up, man, yeah. all the time, dude. I'm just like, bro, they drive crazy, so. Maybe I feel a little bit better with them in there, but yeah, I know I get it, man. It's a, it's a, it's a tough go, man. What makes you, let me ask you this. What makes you say it's your company it, in spite of the AI cameras facing you? Like what makes you say that it's your company? What, like, what's like, where's like your, where's your line? Like, what do you say? Like, well, I hate this, but I do like this. And so this is why I stay there. Like what? What is that for you? Well, for for me with my with my current company, and like I said, it's it's unfortunate that my previous company uh, things kind of went downhill as it did. Uh, there's there's a few things that my previous company do that I don't like that over here that they don't do. The only thing that I miss about my previous company is the money. I, I'm I'm not gonna lie. If I want to be transparent. It's the money. I, I was make I was making way more money over there than I do over here. The unfortunate reason that that this company gave me an opportunity out of many companies that I was looking at and trying to transition to. And again, I implore you guys to definitely check out your DAC report and your PSP report uh, while you're in the midst of trying to find companies. Because some companies, even though my situation happened to me years ago, those companies still use that against you. I had a, I had a couple of incidents that happened to me. A black ops company, they said that I'd put the truck in a place where they didn't authorize, even though it was on their property when I left the truck. And I'm still going back and forth with that to get them to clear that up because I left the keys with a person, took pictures, and left it at their authorized shop. They put on my DAC report, they said, well, they le he left it at an authorized shop, but we didn't know that he left it there. Like, how would you not know if I left it there? I, I told you guys I left it there. So, so I, I implore you guys to definitely get your DAC report, get your PSP report, even though some of these companies say that, oh, well, don't worry about it. We, we don't look at your DAC report because it is true. The DAC report is garbage and it's a way for companies to just put shit on your name. And it is true that some companies don't look at it, but if you want to get with like a mega carrier or a carrier like bar none that, that starts drivers at 71 cent a mile, they definitely going to look at your DAC report. And if they see anything on there that's a miss, you're not going to get in. So for me, like I said, I'm, I wasn't thrilled to find out that they have cameras or the technology that they have with the cameras in the truck. But they, they they gave me an opportunity. They gave me the chance. A couple of other companies gave me a chance as well. But I chose this one because I'm still out of Ohio. I'm still with a local company. I get home every week. 
I don't be micromanaged, and I guess it's because of the camera. You know what I'm saying? I, I guess it's because of the camera that the dispatcher don't have to how long is it going to take you to get there, or 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 why you why you taking so long to do this as as it was with my previous company? They 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 on the phone, they testing you here. It's a little bit more relaxed. The dispatchers don't mess with you; they let you do your job. Uh, the safety department is all about safety over here. Shout out to them; they're definitely all about safety. So if you are tired, and let's say you have like three hours left on the clock, but if you're tired. They're not going to they're not going to penalize you. They will they will rather for you to get your arrest and be rested to drive their trucks than trying to burn the three hours to get to get to the appointment. Because they said that your health, well-being and the safety of you and the truck is more important than that low. And that what I can respect. So, yeah. That I, I honestly can't say it's about the money because <laughs> the, the money's not money in over here. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's still an, it's still enough. Uh, it's still enough for me to, to maintain and save and 401k it. But it, it wasn't. I took a significant hit when I when I came over here. How about you, man? Uh, what, well, you you pretty much you pretty much said how you felt about it and why you stayed with Hershbach. And plus, we got plenty of conversations on why you came back to Hirschbach. So you Hirschbachin, baby. Right. We're Hirschbachin, baby. Yeah, man. I, and I think compensation looks different to different people, man. It's not just the monetary pay they give you every Friday. Um, you know, it looks different to different drivers. And obviously, we want to be compensated financially for what we put up with out here on the road and the things we do and, and being away from home, et cetera, et cetera. But, you know, at the same time, too, like you said, there's something to be said just to not have to receive phone calls every day about this, that, or the other. And, when are, you know, like, and I think a lot of that, too, comes if you just do your job. You know, if you just pick up on time, deliver on time, and, you know, uh, I, I'm on the Tyson account, and Tyson plans these loads. And, you know, sometimes you get a good planner, sometimes you don't get a good planner. Sometimes you're like, what in the world were they thinking driving 700 miles in a day and a half or, or like in one day or something deliver it you know i mean it it's just like you know like i don't i don't think that's you know i mean you see what i'm saying man it's uh you know so i think you know for me i i, I just i enjoy working at her spot i feel like i've just had good experiences here um you know the company's changed you know from 2019 to what it is in 2024 but for me, I'm just like, okay, you know, I just change with the times, man. Uh, life changes, the world changes, culture changes. And uh, I'm not one of those kind of guys like, nope, nope, I'm not changing. I'm not, gonna, you know, I'm just like, okay, whatever, man. Like, we'll see how these new cameras roll out and I'll see what, what happens next, you know. And, uh, and right now, I'm just like, well, I'm just going to just do my job and do it the best I can do. And, uh, Try to avoid the camera as much as possible. It's like what I'm doing now. I don't. I don't like for the camera to go off now. You know. But I mean, at Hirschbach, they'll. You know, if you're going five miles over the speed limit, they will ping you. Oh yeah. And if you do that so many times in a week, you know, if you do that so many times in a week, you know, they'll call you like, hey, you're on the safety list. Let's try to slow down this week. And you know, some drivers absolutely hate that. For me, I'm just like, okay, I, w I don't want to. I don't want to be on the speed report. You know, so I just slow back down. You know, I, I usually go three miles over or you know something around in there and just maintain it and um and just kind of you know I just try to I try to avoid my driver leader calling me up for anything derogatory as much as possible now that being said we are truck drivers and sometimes we do have to make judgment calls out here you know what I'm saying like what you were talking about like making that turn because it, you know you were in a bad area and you had to you had to turn that back around I mean you know I mean I can't think of anything else you should have done you know what I'm saying like what do they want you to do like attach some rockets and fly up over somewhere else to a truck friendly road you know like I mean like I mean things happen you're going to go down the wrong streets there's going to be times where it's tight and you're going to be in sketchy areas that are not truck friendly and so like oh like well you should have trip planned and, and you know trip plans better and well it's right. easy for somebody to say that who's sitting in an office 
um, because I do trip plan and I do like look at it on Google Maps. But sometimes you're not going to know anything until you see something. And when I see something, my experience now, like sirens go off. I'm like, nope, this isn't looking good. I can't make this turn. I'm just going to have to do this to compensate for that. You know what I mean? And so that just comes with experience to make good judgment calls and knowing what to do and how to do that. Something that AI cameras are just not going to know. They're not going to know, period. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, I'll probably just do the same. I mean, I've had a camera incident here. It was a hard break. Uh, and it was my fault. I was just, I ran up on it and I had to break it hard. Um, and I'd just been driving all day, X, Y, and Z, you know? And so like, and I just called up, uh, called up my driver leader and I was like, Hey, just want you to know, you're going to get a camera incident and it's a hard break. And I know it was all my fault. Like, I mean, they were going really slow, like, 60 miles an hour on the interstate in the 70 or something. And, you know, but I mean, it's my fault at the end. And I was like, I just want you to know this is what happened. You're going to get this. It's going to come in for you. And I'm just giving you a heads up. And the next week she's like, hey, I told him we talked about it already. And, uh, you know, just maintain your distance, pay attention, you know, keep, 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 keep your, keep your alertness up. So, I mean, like, and that's what I'm saying. I try to avoid derogatory phone calls as much as possible. And that's what I'm going to try to do with the new AI camera too. I want to avoid it. Now, if that thing's pinging me and bothering me to where I feel like it's really starting to get on my nerves and it's causing more stress and anxiety out here on the road where I already have enough anxiety and stress, then I'll, I'll reconsider. You get what I'm saying, man? Then we got to reevaluate things. But wow. what I, my strategy right now is just to like, Whatever I got to do to avoid getting derogatory phone calls and, and getting marks and all that kind of stuff, let's do that and, and see if we can make it happen. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to have a positive outlook on it and trying just to maintain like, okay, man, like this is part of the culture change and this is the industry I've chosen and what I make a living in. So what I got to do to readjust and adapt to make a successful career out here on the road, if that makes any sense. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Wild beard. We Hirschbachin, baby. We're making it happen one day at a time. Grinding, grinding gears and shedding tears, baby. Grinding gears and shedding tears. That's what's up, man. My guy, Wild Beard. Thank you very much for joining me in this uh, conversation about AI cameras and the new AI technology that's uh, becoming a staple now. It looks like drivers, y'all, y'all won't be able to avoid it. Or maybe y'all can if y'all go with a mom and pop companies, but how, how many mom and pop companies is out there? They're closing down every day. Looks like these mega carriers and these mid-side carriers is the only ones that you're going to be able to choose from now. And they, they are going to have the AI technologies, the AI cameras in their trucks. And I guess the same thing for the old schoolers. You, you're going to have to, going to have to adapt, going to have to get used to it. What's your feelings about it? Is that's is that a good way for them to make some extra money or, or what? Yeah, man. So I mean, like, say it's twelve hundred for for each driver that puts you down on the on the uh, on the referral or something like that. Um, you know, I mean, I don't. I do the same thing on my YouTube videos, man. I'm like, it's like, and so the way I look at it is, if I'm giving information about a company, like my my style is vlogs. So I just show my day-to-day -day life and I show bad days, I show good days and I show bad weeks, I show good weeks. You know what I'm saying? So like I try to show like, hey, this is really frustrating to me and I'm really like pissed off right now and I'm not having a good day. You know, like I just did a video about that, you know, screwed up load or whatever, whatever that one was. But I mean, you know, I, I think for me, if people are going to watch me and they're lo really looking at coming to the company and they haven't applied and, you know, it just like it just it just means a lot to me for people to refer me because it does help. It does make a difference. I mean, if you got one a month, that's still twelve hundred dollars extra every, you know, every month. You see what I'm saying? So that's a that's a nice little bonus. You know, kind of help spur on the check a little bit. Um, but I mean, for somebody, you know, um, I think for me, I just don't like people who who show things or try to make things out to boost up their pay or something like this. There was one guy. He's not a he's not at Hershock anymore. But I mean, he was showing like he only got paid once a month. And then he was showing that check like that was a normal weekly check or something. Like, that's what he made it out. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's just like I was like, dude, how is this guy making like? Six thousand dollars. You know what I mean? In one week. You you get what I'm saying, dude? Like, um, you know, he's not here anymore, and he's trying to scam some other drivers because he activated at this point. 
um, it all kind of broke loose on it. But, um, you know, I think, uh, I think, yeah, you can, you can definitely and, and recruit drivers. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Or if somebody's watching you and you, you, you are the source of the lead for the company. Um, you know, also there's like a, there's like an incentive program to where you can sign up for it at Hirschbach. And if you're doing like so many videos, uh, per, per month, like if you do four or five videos, I can't remember the number, but if you're doing so many videos a month about Hirschbach and you do a certain hashtag in the, uh, in the, in the video for the, for, you know what I'm saying? In the description, like, uh, they'll pay you like, I don't, I can't remember what it is, like 50 to a hundred bucks, something around in there per month extra just for doing videos, like as an advertisement, like they see that they want to invest not in third party advertisers. They would rather have their drivers do videos and advertise the company as opposed to paying somebody else to do it. Does that make sense? So I think that's kind of, and I feel like that's a good, cause it, it keeps the money in house. So let's support the drivers for making videos who are doing content. Uh, there's not a lot of companies out there doing that from what I've been able to tell. I mean, I don't know of any others that are doing it, but maybe you do. You talk to a lot of companies. Nah, not, but, not, I mean, not for that me, many. I just felt, not, not that many. A lot of them, a lot of them promote it through Facebook. They promote it through Instagram. Maybe a handful of companies. I, I know one company in particular, which will be, which will remain nameless because of issues. But, but yeah, <laughs> right. But yeah, there's there's a few companies out there that are conversating the drivers to to promote their companies. I guess one more, one more, one more thing. What's one up? more thing. One Go more ahead. thing. If anybody's li listening to this and you're thinking about doing content, I think the best advice I would ever give somebody is to be authentic. Show your miles, show your pay, and uh, show the good weeks, show the bad weeks. Show the weeks that weren't so great. Show the weeks that are good too. You know, and um, and just be your and be yourself, man. And don't try to be somebody else. You, you're never going to get anywhere being somebody else. And on that note, we're out of here. Wild Beard, thank you very much, man. You take it easy and you stay safe and continue Hirschbacking, baby. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, Lockout. If it wasn't for us nasty old truck drivers out here on the road, you wouldn't have none of y'all shit. This video was brought to you by a truck and a truck driver.